Spellaments suck. So I've come up with an idea to fix them. So here's my idea. Rank 1 Spellaments. I'm only doing them because I haven't thought that far ahead. Mr. Lincoln, level 10, will give you a quest to defeat some bosses. These bosses will all have a chance to drop rank 1 Spellaments. Generally, every time you fight them, they'll drop 1, but there's a possibility of dropping up to 30. These bosses will be able to be farmed for by any school, but you have to complete your boss for the quest. Firstly, Balance. I would have to defeat a Scarab, a rank 1 boss with 300 health. He would start with 1 pip, and he would have a 10% boost to the spirit schools, life, myth, and death. He would have 20% balance resist, he would be able to be stunned and also beguiled. His cheats will be if a wizard casts a shield, he will shatter the shield and every other shield. Also, if the boss isn't damaged every 5 rounds, he will cast a tier 5 scarab on a random wizard. The spells that he knows are tier 5 scarab for the accuracy, so he's less likely to fizzle. Elemental shield, spirit shield, balance blade, shatter for his cheat and a natural attack. I propose that he be located in this tower here in Old Town because it's quite a nice area and this tower doesn't actually have any use at the moment. For death, I think the Fairy Queen should make a return. She would be a rank 1 boss like she used to be. Um, she would have a little bit of a health buff being 350. She would be death. She would start with 1 pip. She would have a 10% boost to life damage. She would have a 30% resist to storm. You would be able to stun her but she would not be beguilable. Her cheats would include, um, if a wizard casts a blade, the boss will cast a natural attack um, and a plague on the caster. And also, if the boss isn't damaged, every five rounds it will cast a tier 5 dark sprite on a random wizard. The spells that this boss knows is dark sprite, tier 5, um, which increases the accuracy. A dream shield, death shield, infection, plague for the cheat, and also a natural attack. I think the boss would be a great fit in the Haunted Cave, which currently doesn't have too many bosses in there. Fire Wizards would have to defeat a rank 1 boss, Firecat. It would have 315 health, it would start with 1 pip, it would have a 10% boost to ice damage, it would have a 30% resist to fire. It would be stunnable and also beguilable. Its cheats would be if a wizard casts a damage over time spell, the dot would be pushed back onto caster. Also, if the boss isn't damaged every 5 rounds, it will cast a tier 5 fire cat on a random wizard. The spells that this boss has include tier 5 fire cat, which increases its accuracy, glacial shield, fire shield, fire blade, shift for its cheat, and a natural attack. I think this boss would be best suited for fire cat alley. There's plenty of unused houses and space in fire cat alley that this boss could occupy. Ice would have to defeat a rank 1 boss frost beetle. It would have 370 health, it would start with 1 pip, it would have a 10% boost to fire, it would have a 30% resist to ice, it would not be stunnable, but you could beguile it. Its cheats would include if a wizard casts a shield, the boss will cast a tower shield. If the boss isn't damaged every 5 rounds, it will cast a tier 5 frost beetle on a random wizard. The spells that this boss have include tier 5 frost beetle, which increases the accuracy, a volcanic shield, a snow shield, a freeze, a tower shield for the cheat, and a natural attack. I recommend this boss be placed in a Colossus Boulevard because, again, like Firecat Alley, there's plenty of unused houses and it also makes sense thematically. Life would have to face a rank 1 boss imp. It would start with 1 pip, it would have a 10% boost to death, it would have a 30% resist to life, it would be able to be stunned and beguiled. Its cheats would include if a wizard heals, it will cast a tier 5 imp on the caster. If the boss isn't damaged every 5 rounds, it will cast a tier 5 imp on a random wizard. Its spells include tier 5 imp, which increases its accuracy, legend shield, life shield, minor blessing, fairy, and natural attack. I think that this boss should be located somewhere on Unicorn Way, again for the thematics. Myth would have to defeat a Blood Bat that is a rank 1 boss. It would have 315 health, it would start with 1 pip, it would have a 10% boost to storm and a 30% resist to myth. It would not be stunnable, but you would be able to beguile it. Its cheats would include, if a wizard summons a minion, the boss will cast a version of Siphon Health on that minion. If the boss isn't damaged every 3 rounds, it will cast a tier 5 blood bat on a random wizard. Its spells include blood bat, tier 5 which increases the accuracy, storm shield, myth shield, stun, siphon health for the cheat, and a natural attack. I recommend this boss be placed in cyclops lane, again mainly for the thematics, but there's also a lot of open space that could be utilised. 
Storm would have to defeat a rank 1 boss, Thundersnake. It would have 315 health, it would have a 10% boost to myth, it would have a 30% resist to Storm and start with 1 pip. You would be able to stun and beguile it. Its cheats would include, if a wizard casts a blade, the boss will cast an enfeeble on the caster. If the boss isn't damaged every 3 rounds, it will cast a tier 5 Thundersnake on a random wizard. The spells would include a tier 5 Thundersnake, which increases the accuracy, a Storm Shield, a Myth Shield, a Storm Beetle, an Enfeeble for the cheat, and a Natural Attack. I recommend this boss be placed on Triton Avenue, because that is the Storm Hub of Wizard City. Plus, there is plenty of space in Triton Avenue for an extra boss. After defeating your school's boss, you would return to Mr. Lincoln, who would in return teach you about spell elements and how to in improve your spells, but also give you 10 spell elements to your t rank 1 spell. These bosses are designed to be very difficult at level 10. The reason behind that is that spell elements should be increased, I believe, 10 levels after you get the spell. So for example, rank 1 spells, you can learn them at level 1. So 10 levels after that is level 10. Start giving characters spell elements at level 10 for rank 1 spells. However, it's going to be difficult at level 10 when you kind of need them still. As you get higher leveled, the spell element bosses will be easier for you because you're more experienced in the game. Thus making it easier to farm at higher levels than it is at lower levels when you might actually need the spell element. These bosses are a way to make spell elements available to every player in the game and also give new players an idea of how cheating bosses work and how spell elements actually work. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you would want me to do designs for rank 2 spell element bosses, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, remember to craft outside the box. Yeah.